हेलो हेलो दिस स्वरूप हां यस सर दिस इज पुनीत हियर फ्रॉम एक्सा रिगार्डिंग अ स्केड्यूल इंटरव्यू एट 4:00 क्लॉक हां या टेल मी दिस इज गुड टू टॉक हां या सर सो आई हैव गुरु एज वेल विद मी हाय सर या हाय गुरु सो आई वाज गोइंग थ्रू योर प्रोफाइल कैन यू जस्ट talk about yourself and your daily activities and what are things you work upon uh yeah actually myself uh, surup kumar and uh, i am working with uh, cgi yeah. and uh, my project name is billing collection tool and here my role is uh, creating a database of objects like tables and uh, synonyms sequences and uh, to implement the business rules i create stored procedures functions and uh, to impose the business rules i create in some tables integrity constraints uh, if beyond uh, if i cannot handle through the integrity constraints i can create on those tables a triggers as well and in part of uh, data manipulation i use cursors as well okay uh, yeah once i'm done with the all these activities uh, for the reviews i will send uh, all the created objects to my superior i mean tl team lead okay yeah these are the activities i do regularly mm-hmm. yeah and uh, if any doubts i will get uh, interact with the on site team or site on site coordinator as well okay uh, yeah the, so this what is, is what, yeah so what is the current team size sorry current team size is 8 members okay yeah it includes uh, on site coordinator also okay and uh, ba business analyst as well mm-hmm. yeah here we have my team lead and uh, three members uh, developer and along with me and uh, one bl software bl also is here and one manager okay yeah mm-hmm. so like uh, and do you have any knowledge on the support of project or is it only you are on the pure development side Ah uh, yeah, I worked on support projects also. Uh, like I'll get tickets and uh, I'll analyze the tickets. They'll create uh, for a spied project. Uh, whoever handling uh, from the clients, they'll create and they'll send out the functional document and we'll analyze it. If you have any doubts, we'll ask them. We'll implement the changes. Like we'll get changes uh, if any existing system changes or else a new fu- new functionality adding to the existing system. these kind of tickets will get regularly okay yeah we will get we have some slas for that also according to that uh, we decide the priority of the ticket and we will deliver it as uh, uh, in the scheduled manner like uh, uh, weekly once we deploy all these tickets to the production okay Uh, yeah this is what we do in the support so right so the project billing collection to that has gone live or still you it's in development phase yeah it's parallelly actually it's a support come maintenance project okay yeah it's a production uh, we are giving production support as well as by taking the new change requests or new brds as well for these account okay yeah so uh, it's what was parallel the- going on Okay, what was the last BRD for this project? Uh, How big it was? Uh, yeah, my last BRD was uh, to change the billing system. We included uh, some around uh, 15 tables in that, and uh, for each uh, for each table we create. I mean, not for each table we created some procedures. Uh, I do not remember exact number for that BRD because the BRD changes are splitted across all the team members. so not only i'm included uh, in that bid some team members also included we segregate we divided the work according that we worked on that bid yeah but okay. you would be aware of you know what how big was the bid right that you were required to work on one particular module of that bid right uh, yes uh, actually my single currency margin is my my task actually uh, for the uh, single currency margin Actually, yes whatever the bills come across uh, across the globe 
uh, actually mm-hmm. it, uh, from the different currencies we will get the billings actually see let's say suppose australians will pay in australian dollar indians will pay indian rupees and the canadians will pay canadian dollars and uh, mm-hmm. britons will pay in the pounds a yeah, different currencies we will get for that we converted into single us uh, i mean single us dollar uh, see wherever country people are paid that currency we converted into us dollar for the conversion we charge some current uh, i mean conversion rates actually uh, mm-hmm. depends on the currency that conversion charges uh, we have some uh, static table for that uh, based on the currency let's say suppose australian dollar to us dollar we have some conversion charges from canadian to us dollar these kind of uh, charges were maintaining in the table based on that rule we are applying the conversion charges and we are uh, making into single uh, i mean uh, uh, us dollar that paid amount so okay. fine who providing you the conversion rates uh, conversion rates provides by bas clients uh, clients uh, will give to bas ba will provide uh, provide to us and how frequently this update happens the conversion rate uh, no it's a static table it w- it won't uh, change frequently no obviously like like is it like uh, every basis you change the conversion rates or how is it uh, sorry so on yearly basis you convert the rates or how it goes uh, not sure in the future scope recently we uh, changed these uh, i mean recently we implemented these changes uh if we, if in future any conversion rate changes will come we'll update the table based on the condition given conditions okay yeah um, so so in your module in that last last bri so you were required to do what that uh yeah for that we take the data from the client provided file uh, the tool will that is etl part that is separate thing that not comes under uh, my part uh, whatever the data they provided i will take from the source table for that based on some where clauses i will fetch the conversion rates and i will uh, change that currency into us dollar uh, for that i used some case conditions in my logic okay, okay. i uh, yeah based on that i implemented the code in the stored procedure uh uh-huh. so uh, how big was the stored procedure uh, the stored procedure were around 850 lines stored procedure 850 lines yes 850 lines okay yeah you're asking about the lines right how big it is i mean uh, yeah 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 and suppose you uh like you know you have written that procedure and suppose you have to it's kind of creating uh, you know any exception at run time mm. suppose you know for a given currency the rate is not available consider okay mm. and you're trying to write that currency conversion rate from your uh, static table but it's not available so how it will be handling that exception uh yeah see for that we have exception clause uh, when we found when i'm fetching the currency rates from the conversion table i mean uh, uh, the charges table uh, when i will get the null value for that i'm uh, handling with the null value exception where data not found kind of thing it won't come as a null right because an entry will not be there itself uh, sorry if entry is not there uh, i will get no data found right Hmm. so i will handle that with the no data found exception and how and how you know that you know for which currency that no data found has come uh yeah the uh, for that i will uh, uh, i will note down the error description and uh, error number also based on that i will find out the error type and uh, for that i will use raise application error wherever it uh, at the let's say suppose i am fetching the conversion rates uh, from the table uh if i get the error there i will uh, immediately i will raise the error at that point no, only no, right now question. we are not implemented uh, in my procedure uh, just we are handling null value or uh, no data found error and some uh, automatic operations errors okay consider like you know i request you to make a change in that procedure mm. okay and uh, suppose you know you are doing a conversion of say you know from pound to usd mm. and that conversion or charges is not available in the static table mm. so i want you to you know throw me an exception it should say you know that conversion rate for pound to usd is not available 
So how you link it that logic? Uh, that logic, right? Uh, let us suppose I'm fetching for, uh, I'm looking for found and uh, EST combination. Okay, for that I don't have data in the conversion rate table. Mm -hmm. uh, so there I won't get data. I mean, uh, uh, like uh, no data found uh, message I will get from the uh, Oracle compiler. Okay. Uh, so for, for that I'm using raise application error with the error number user defined error. I can say uh -huh. these are user defined errors. I will uh, apply okay. user defined it's number. Because user defined exceptions, right? Sorry? You're talking about the user defined exceptions? Uh, yeah, we can, we can, yes, we can define user defined exception there. Okay. Yeah. Okay, fine. And uh, when talking about, um, um, so you have any like exposure to packages? Do you got a chance to run any packages in your current project? Uh, yeah, for existing whatever the stored procedures we are creating, those stored procedures we will uh, uh, include in the existing packages. Okay, but what was the what what is the purpose of having that standard procedure to be included in the package? Uh, yeah, some set of uh, set of uh, category. So all stored group of procedures will create uh, in one package for the maintainability and uh, to go and fetch the uh, package. Uh, I mean, uh, let's say suppose I have some thousand, hundred procedures. If I create a standalone procedure, I cannot go and cannot search for, I mean, it takes time to maintainability and for the readability as well. Uh, so if I create, uh, let's say, suppose for the group, for, uh, if let's say we are implementing single currency margin uh, BRD, so all these whatever the procedures we are created for this BRD will create under one single package uh, all group of these stored procedures. So it is easy to maintain and easy to readability. And uh, when I call it, I mean uh, it's easy for compilation also. Okay. And it reduces the runtime of the stored procedure as well. Okay. Then uh, I hope I answered you know, for for your question for this. Yes, uh, yes. So then I see that you have exposure to this bulk collect, bulk bind collection, and ref cursor. So you have implemented. Did you got a chance to implement the bulk collect operation? Yeah, bulk collect and not uh, frequently, but uh, I implemented in you know, one of uh, my previous projects, uh, like into yeah, I implemented that to improve. Uh, say when I uh, when I perform row by row operation, it takes a lot of time uh, in between the SQL compiler and the PL SQL compiler. Context switching uh, will more actually when we perform the row by row. When we use the bulk collect, con context switching will reduce and it improves the performance as well. Okay. Yeah, so for that purpose, the, uh, we'll use the bulk collect. How big was your data when you implemented that bulk collect? Uh, the how bulk, big was it? Yeah, it was uh, actually not, uh, I mean, uh, around, I'm not sure about the, I can say like uh, 2 million records we were getting uh, in around. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, and then what, uh, in collections, what all collections you have used so far? Uh, sorry? In collections, hmm. so what are collection types you have used so far? I, uh, I used uh, that time we, uh, associative uh, array actually, and we uh -huh. have a VRA and uh, VRA and one more collection, uh, associative array and VRA and uh, table variable we have actually. I mean, uh, I forgot that name actually. We have three three types of uh, collection t collection records. Okay. Uh, yeah. And uh, yeah. Okay. And then uh, why do we use the ref cursor? Uh, ref ref cursor uh, to uh, actually uh, once we declare the ref cursor, we can allocate our uh, select statement dynamically to the ref cursor. Uh, let's say suppose uh, if I create static cursor, the allocated select statement uh, will use for the complete process. Uh, if I want to uh, allocate another select statement for that cursor, I cannot do by static cursor. That can happen only by ref cursor. 
based on okay. uh, yeah dynamically you can allocate the select statement to the ref cursor mm-hmm. okay and uh, talking about unix now so how comfortable you are working with unix environment uh, yeah actually uh, i'm i involve like uh, to moving the files from one directory to another directory i mean uh, the when etl got processed uh, we need to move from one for one directory to another directory some bit basic commands i used like will not extensively use okay but uh, it says you know having knowledge okay okay so what are the commands you are aware of uh, like ls uh, remove the file and uh, renaming the file and how do you listing, remove, how do you listing file? uh, all the files uh, rm rm command i used to remove the file okay yeah and uh, to listing the files i use ls command ha uh-huh. ha yeah for right. the string search i used some grip command okay yeah some not uh, i mean i can i cannot say like uh, uh, intermediate also i am very beginner in the linux actually i mean unix commands <laughs> and okay. file operations uh, yeah like more commands tail uh-huh. yeah i am aware what of the what was the purpose of purpose of tail controller what is the purpose of the tail command uh, tail command uh, actually uh, how, when the file of output contains grows who can find uh, i mean at the last uh, uh, tail command uh, it searches from the bottom actually okay so how do you suppose i have a file called the abc.txt file hmm. okay so how should i you know check the last 10 lines of that file say so larger how i need to see the last 10 lines okay of that file how do i do it uh, yeah tail iphone f and uh, file name i can give the number actually uh, i do exact syntax i mean uh, i think uh, yeah that is the syntax okay. tail tail uh, file name yeah tail file name not iphone f also tail file name uh, is the syntax yeah acha okay yeah if you want to see first uh, we have head command also for that okay how do you use the head command uh, head space file name okay yeah mm-hmm. and uh, what is the notice period uh, my notice period is uh, actually 30 days uh, yeah if you want so uh, i mean i can jo- i can negotiate it because uh, i can get release as i mean early release also already you are in notice period or what uh yeah actually i'm serving the notice okay okay when is your tentative last day in the current organization uh, sorry sorry when is your tentative last working day last in your current organization yeah once release the offer uh, i mean uh, uh, i can join for you as early as possible the i mean already uh, i have 24 days notice from this day actually so currently you have uh, close to like 3 weeks of notice period available right ah yes yes so you can join in 3 weeks ah right? yes yeah 3 weeks i can join yeah okay uh, f- uh fine sir yeah and uh, yeah uh, may know the project i mean uh, if you have time may know about the project details and work location kind of details yeah. Uh, basically we are working for one of the mantas also oracle product it involves all the unix and the data the database and the informatic also okay and the location is uh, manta tech park manta tech park okay that's fine yeah you have any other question sir uh, yeah no questions thank is it guru or pritam a guru guru only yeah guru and punit yeah thanks a lot and uh, i mean do do i have any further rounds uh, actually yeah definitely yeah there will be another round it will get back to you yeah, okay sure yeah thanks guru yeah yeah thanks, thanks to you also yeah thank you bye yeah mm.